मेजर टेक्निक्स यूज फॉर जीनोम्स करेक्टराइजेशन देर वर सम मेजर टेक्निक्स विच वर यूज टू करेक्टराइज द जीनोम्स और टू सीक्वेंस द जीनोम्स एंड टू स्टडी द फंक्शन ऑफ द जीनोम्स सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टेक्निक्स विच वर यूज टू करेक्टराइज द जीनोम्स और क्लोनिंग हाइब्रिडाइजेशन पी सी आर एम्पलीफिकेशन सीक्वेंसिंग एंड कंप्यूटेशनल टूल्स सो दीज वार सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टेक्निक्स विच वार यूज टू सीक्वेंस द जीनोम्स इन एडिशन टू दीज टेक्निक्स देर वार सम अदर प्रोटोकॉल्स विच वार यूज टू सीक्वेंस द और टू करेक्टराइज द जीनोम्स जीनोम करेक्टराइजेशन वन ऑफ द मेजर टेक्निक वॉज क्लोनिंग और डी एन ए क्लोनिंग इन केस ऑफ क्लोनिंग और डी एन ए क्लोनिंग जीनोम्स दे वर डाइजेस्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स दे वर इंसल्टेड इन टू द वैक्टर्स टू प्रोड्यूस द जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरीज द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरीज कैन बी बाग्स याग्स and the libraries of some of the genomes were also in the form of cosmid vectors so cosmid vectors were used to prepare the genomic libraries box bacterial artificial chromosomes were used to prepare the genomic libraries yaks yeast artificial chromosomes were used to prepare the genomic libraries for the sequencing of the genomes the another technique which was used to sequence the genomes was hybridization to arrange as the genomics large geno genomes were cut with the help of restriction enzymes and they were inserted into the box or yaks then those box and yaks were arranged by with the help of technique which is called as hybridization so to arrange large contexts of uh, genomes to produce the genetic map and physical map the technique which were used to align the contexts is called as dna hybridization so here we can see that genome characterization techniques hybridization was this is the genome of a particular organism to arrange large contexts this genome was digested with the help of restriction enzymes so restriction enzymes converted the genome into small pieces so these small pieces were arranged uh, into clone contexts so to arrange these uh, pieces in the form of clone contexts dna hybridization technique was used another technique which was used to characterize the genomes or to sequence the genomes is called as polymerase chain reaction so this is a technique by which we can amplify the dna there are different sub variants of this technique another technique which was used to characterize the genome is called as dna sequencing so dna sequencing is one of the important technique used to characterize the genomes this technique was actually used to sequence the dna or to sequence the genomes and to study the structure and function of the genomes this is the chromatogram that how dna or the genomes when they were sequenced we get the sequencing results so dna sequencing dna are amplified and sequenced when we sequence the dna or when we sequence the genomes we see the peaks like this is the blue peak of cytosine a red peak is of thymine green peak is of adenine and blue peak 
is of cytosine and the, this is the black peak, this is of guanine. So the sequencing data appears in the form of techniques, in the form of peaks and each nucleotide is labeled and there is a specific color of the peak and by with the help of these peaks we can read the sequencing data. Another technique which was used to characterize the genomes or to align the sequencing data once the genomes were sequenced. That is called as computational tools or in other words we can say it the bioinformatics tools. So bioinformatics tools or the computational tools were used to align the sequence DNA to produce the physical map of the genomes. So if we conclude that how genomes were characterized or how the genomes were sequenced, different techniques including the most common techniques, cloning, sequencing, DNA amplification and computer software were used to characterize the genomes. Till now, hundreds of genomes including the genomes of viruses, genomes of bacteria and many genomes of the eukaryotes has been sequenced and characterized by using these most common techniques. These techniques they are also called as the techniques of molecular biology or the techniques of molecular genetics.